Have you or a loved one ever experienced an irregular heart rhythm? If so, you know how frightening it can be, especially if you don't know what's causing it or if it's a sign of something serious or life-threatening. The rate and rhythm of the heart is controlled by electrical signals that start from within one of the heart's upper chambers. These electrical signals cause the heart to contract or squeeze in a coordinated manner. This synchronized heartbeat continuously circulates blood through the lungs and out to the rest of the body to deliver vital oxygen. Irregular heart rhythms, or arrhythmias, occur when the heart's electrical signals are abnormal, making it beat too fast, too slow, or in an uncoordinated manner. That irregular heart rhythm can interfere with the heart's ability to pump effectively. There are numerous types of arrhythmias. Some resolve on their own, while others need treatment. Some are harmless, while others can be dangerous or even fatal. Some arrhythmias can produce symptoms that are physically exhausting, scary, and impact day-to-day -day activities. This makes it especially important to get an accurate diagnosis and appropriate treatment if you think you may be experiencing an irregular heart rhythm. While you may have heard of atrial fibrillation, which is the most common heart rhythm problem, there are many types that you've likely never heard of. They are generally grouped into four main categories. Premature, or extra beats, are usually harmless and may not cause any symptoms. They can be caused by stress, exercise, caffeine, or nicotine. Bradyarrhythmias occur when the heart beats slower than usual and can lead to too little oxygen getting to the body. Although certain medical conditions can lead to bradycardia, most of the time, it is caused by damage to heart tissue from aging or other heart conditions, or by some medications, including drugs used to treat other heart arrhythmias and blood pressure. Ventricular arrhythmias start in the lower chambers of the heart, or ventricles. They can be life-threatening and require immediate medical care. Existing heart disease is often the cause. Supraventricular arrhythmias are abnormal heart rhythms that originate anywhere outside of the ventricles. These can start in the atria, or upper chambers, or within the heart's electrical system. Atrial fibrillation is the most common arrhythmia and can lead to stroke, heart failure, and other complications. Atrial flutter has similar symptoms and complications to atrial fibrillation, but is less common. Supraventricular tachycardia, or SVT, refers to supraventricular arrhythmias that are fast. Paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia, or PSVT, is a condition where an abnormal electrical connection between the atria and ventricles causes a rapid heart rhythm that can start and stop suddenly. It affects around 1.7 million people in the United States, yet it is often difficult to diagnose. Episodes of rapid heart rate from PSVT affect people in different ways. Some don't even notice the episodes, while others describe them as frightening and exhausting. While PSVT isn't usually life-threatening, not being able to predict when the next episode will happen can cause serious anxiety. Some people find themselves avoiding activities and daily routines out of fear of the next episode. PSVT can also cause people to faint or pass out without warning, which can make things like driving dangerous. PSVT can only be diagnosed if the heart is being monitored during an episode. And since episodes come and go without warning, it can be hard to capture them on a monitor and get answers. Because episodes can be alarming, people often end up in the emergency room. There are a range of treatments for PSVT and other arrhythmias. So, while receiving a diagnosis can feel overwhelming, it's a critical step in living with, treating, and potentially curing your irregular heart rhythm. Be sure to talk to your healthcare professional right away if you think you may have an arrhythmia. For more information, visit the Arrhythmia Alliance, American Heart Association, the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute, and the Alliance for Aging Research.